So this is what you'll need to make a drawing. You'll need a piece of paper big enough. I use wallpaper because it's cheap and easily accessible. You can get this from anywhere. Pencils. I like to have a couple of pencils sharpened up. You need a nice sharp pencil. The sharper your pencil is, the more accurate your drawing is. And of course, you might need a rubber. I like these clicky pencils. You know exactly how thick that lead is, in this case half a millimetre. It makes drawing really accurate. In this case though, for the purposes of the camera, I'll, I'm going to be using a pen. So it's, it stands out nice and clear, so you can see what I'm doing. You'll need a couple of rulers, a long one and a short one. This is a metre rule, and this is a six inch rule, a 12 inch one would be just as good. And this is a drafting square. It's used for drawing lines at 90 degrees to another line, usually the centre line in our case. So if you've already decided what parts you have on your guitar, then um, maybe you've even ordered them already. If you haven't, then do it now, because it's great to have the parts available. You can check them against your drawing, just to make sure everything's lining up as you think it should. It's very handy. You'll see when I make my drawing, me using these patterns. If you've got any patterns, get them all together now. If you haven't, take a look at the PDFs. I'm going to show you how to trace these to make your own working drawing. Lastly, if you're using a pre-made fretboard, like I've advised, this is great for marking out the drawing. We can use this to, to mark out each fret and we can, we can draw around it. It's really useful for drawing. Um, so if you are using a pre-made fretboard, have that available as well. That's everything that you need to, to make a drawing.